We're up to Lesson 159 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 159. I give the miracles I have received. I give the miracles I have received. No one can give what he has not received. To give a thing requires first you have it in your own possession. Here, the laws of heaven and the laws of the world agree. But here they also separate. <laughs> the world believes that to possess a thing, it must be kept. Salvation teaches otherwise. To give is how to recognize you have received. It is the proof that what you have is yours. You understand that you are healed when you give healing. You accept forgiveness as accomplished in yourself when you forgive. You recognize your brother as yourself and thus do you perceive that you are whole. There is no miracle you cannot give for all are given you. Receive them now by opening the storehouse of your mind where they are laid and giving them away. Christ's vision is a miracle. It comes from far beyond itself for it reflects eternal love and the rebirth of love which never dies but has been kept obscure. Christ's vision pictures heaven, for it sees a world so like to heaven that what God created perfect can be mirrored there. The darkened glass the world presents can show but twisted images in broken parts. The real world pictures heaven's innocence. Christ's vision is the miracle in which all miracles are born. It is their source, remaining with each miracle you give, and yet remaining yours. It is the bond by which the giver and receiver are united in extension here on earth as they are one in heaven. Christ beholds sin in no one, and in his sight the sinless are as one, their holiness was given by his Father and himself. Christ's vision is the bridge between the worlds. And in its power can you safely trust to carry you from this world into one made holy by forgiveness. Things which seem quite solid here are merely shadows there transparent, faintly seen, at times forgot, and never able to obscure the light that shines beyond them. Holiness has been restored to vision, and the blind can see. This is the Holy Spirit's single gift. The treasure house to which you can appeal with perfect certainty for all the things that can contribute to your happiness. All are laid here already. All can be received but for the asking. Here the door is never locked and no one is denied his least request or his most urgent need. There is no sickness not already healed, no lack unsatisfied, no need unmet within this golden treasury of Christ. Here does the world remember what was lost when it was made, for here it is repaired, made new again, but in a different light. What was to be the home of sin becomes the center of redemption and the hearth of mercy, where the suffering are healed and welcome. No one will be turned away from this new home where his salvation waits. No one is stranger to him. 
No one asks for anything of him except the gift of his acceptance, of his welcoming. Christ's vision is the holy ground in which the lilies of forgiveness set their roots. This is their home. They can be brought from here back to the world, but they can never grow in its unnourishing and shallow soil. They need the light and warmth and kindly care Christ's charity provides. They need the love with which he looks on them. And they become his messengers who give as they received. Take from his storehouse that its treasures may increase. His lilies do not leave their home when they are carried back into the world. Their roots remain. They do not leave their source but carry its beneficence with them and turn the world into a garden like the one they came from and to which they go again with added fragrance. Mm. <laughs> now are they twice blessed. The messages they brought from Christ have been delivered and returned to them and they return them gladly unto him. Behold the store of miracles set out for you to give. Are you not worth the gift when God appointed it be given you? Judge not God's Son, but follow in the way he established. Christ has dreamed the dream of a forgiven world. It is his gift whereby a sweet transition can be made from death to life from hopelessness to hope. Let us an instant dream with him. His dream awakens us to truth. His vision gives the means for a return to our unlost and everlasting sanctity in God. That's lesson 159. I give the miracles I have received. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.